I'd heard people s refer to it as the Ferrari testosterone. They, you know, it sounded like that. My missus still thinks it's called a testosterone. It's true that the time the Testarossa was king is not the most popular in many people's minds and that the Testarossa carries something of a negative image because of that. We took one in part exchange and uh, I had to move it around the car park. We had two rows of cars, so we had them all parked up here, all parked up there, and I was trundling down this white Testarossa with red leather interior. And um, I got level with the car wash, and there was a sort of water all over the car park, and I gave it just a little bit of throttle. Suddenly the back end stuck out, and the car literally went sideways, and I had like six inches in front of the front bumper, six inches behind the back bumper. It was like, you know in that Austin Powers thing where you get stuck in the corridor in the golf trolley? That was me. I was going, Arr! Arr! After about 10 minutes, I got out, hand the key to the bath, I said, I just want to like, move that, mate, you know. It, I mean, there's no headroom, um, the visibility is appalling, it's starting to look dated, but it sounds wonderful, and it, it was an icon of its time. But really, you drive one now, and you do feel a bit Rod Stewart. Image aside, the Testarossa was one of Ferrari's finest moments. Pinning Farina's design is instantly recognisable from any angle. Side on, the engine cooling vents cut deep into the side sill, distinguish it from any other car. From the back, the slats are continued, running the full width of the car. See one in your rear view mirror, and its narrow front and wide back profile is instantly intimidating. Testarossa was a total embodiment of 1980s extravagance, flamboyance and style. Those that are in the know will still hopefully regard it as one of the finest V12 Ferraris there was. Um, it just didn't have a near side rear view mirror. Almost to prove how of its time it was, the Testarossa was feeling outdated and outpaced by the end of the 1980s. The reign of rolled up sports jackets, new romantics and white Testarossas was definitely over.